Hi, my name is Mayesha and I'm a Sephora beauty director. And today's video is all about black owned hair brands, which I think is just really exciting because it's really nice to walk into a store and have lots of choice for my particular hair type. The cool thing about these brands is kind of anybody can use these in different ways. You might have different application styles if your hair is finer or straighter, um, but they're just really great hydration products because kinkier, curlier hair needs all the hydration. So if you are sort of looking for that, black owned hair brands are a really great place to start. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. So first off, from Briogeo, one of my favorite brands. Uh, and I always call Briogeo the brand that saved my hair because when I was sort of transitioning from heat damaged hair to wearing my hair curly full time, this was like, this was it for me. Uh, so this is a new shampoo and conditioner pack. Every time they come out with their new sort of flavors of shampoo and conditioner, it's always really exciting. So this is the Mango and Cherry Shampoo and Conditioner Duo Pack. This is the balancing shampoo and conditioner. Now, balancing is really great because I have really dry hair, so sometimes clarifying shampoo and conditioner can be a little bit much for me, but this is sort of gonna balance out your hair if you tend to get a little bit of a greasy scalp, if you get a little bit of like sort of that um, in between wash days, you feel like you need a refresher. So it has mango and cherry, which is what it smells like. I'm very excited to smell this. Uh, and it has, uh, the mango and cherry serves as sort of like antioxidants for the hair. It gives the hair lots of hydration and that great smell, but it also has papaya. So the papaya is gonna be really great for your scalp health and it's gonna gently exfoliate. So if you have buildup or oils or things like that, it's gonna balance it. All right, so I've waited to smell this with you all. Let's see. I like when they do the scented shampoo and conditioner because it's never overpowering. It's like just enough um, to be really nice, like with the hot water in the shower, it's the shampoo. And it is really nice. It's very subtle. So if you're worried about something smelling too fruity, it's not gonna be too fruity for you. I smell the mango, I smell the cherry. It smells really, really good. And again, this is a balancing shampoo. So for me, instead of a full on clarifying shampoo, which can be kind of drying, I would use something like this on a detox day. But if you sort of have hair that's kind of, you know, in the middle, it may be, get a little like build up during the week um, or you may work out things like that. This might be a really great choice for you. I feel like the common thread with all of Rojo's products is it's really great, like familiar, ingredients that are superfoods. Uh, we were reading about Nancy and she uh, started out like mixing different things with her mom. Her mom was a chemist, I believe. And just kind of having that relationship where like her mom was a person that everybody went to like in the neighborhood for home remedies and things. So I just love that the fact that she's taking ingredients that are so familiar to her and creating products that just work so well for other people. Uh, and Nancy's great. If you happen to go to like a Sephora or convention or something, you see Nancy, she's absolutely amazing. So that kind of like solidified my relationship with Briojo. Great products, great founder. Okay, so we have a new brand to Sephora and anytime we have a new brand and it's a black owned brand, I like to remind people of the 15% pledge. So the 15% pledge is an organization started by uh, a friend to Sephora, Aurora James, who is a fashion designer. And it's a pledge stating that retailers should allocate at least 15% of their shelf space to black owned brands, being is that, you know, black people are 15% of the population in the US. It kind of only makes sense to create like an equitable environment. Like when I was talking about walking into a store and knowing that there are curly hair products for me or bronzers that match my skin tones, things like that. It just kind of creates an environment where you can get things from different perspectives. So Sephora was the first retailer to sign on to that. So I'm super proud about that. And we've been seeing new brands come in ever since. So this is Sunday to Sunday. This is something I have needed for years. So this is the Root Refresh Micellar Rinse infused with apple cider vinegar. So this is something you would use like after a workout or after like maybe going to a bar with your friends and you can spray it in your hair, micellar water, if you use it on your face, you know that it sort of attaches to those dirt molecules and kind of pulls them away. And the apple cider vinegar is gonna be really great to refresh. I think the main reason I quit Bikram yoga is because I couldn't keep up with the hair thing. Like I couldn't wash my hair that often. So this is something I'm definitely gonna be looking into. It's a wet spray which is really, really nice. I always say that people with curly hair kind of do better with a wet dry shampoo if you kind of wrap your head around that. It's just really nice to sort of refresh your hair. Like earlier I had a side part, we moved it to a middle part. So we sprayed a little bit of this and they're kind of break it up and move it around. Use it for restyling, refreshing, or you could just use it like after workout, it's gonna be really great. So I'm really excited about this. 
not gonna say that I work out all the time, but when I do, I'm gonna like to have something that I can like go, you know, I can film and still feel really refreshed or a hot day or something, but this is gonna be really nice. And even though there's apple cider vinegar in this, it's totally color treated hair safe because raw apple cider vinegar tends to not be color treated safe. So this is really great too. So something I really like too is um, just yesterday actually, I was using a regular sprayer, a pump, that just goes down and it was slipping out of my hands in the shower and I had to use both hands. So I love a sprayer that's like this because it's not gonna slip out of your hand even when your hands are wet, if you're in the shower, or if you're sweating or something. So anytime there's a pump like this, I absolutely love it. I usually save these bottles even and put different things in them just for on the go, but I really, really like this pump. So next up, we have something from Bread Beauty Supply, which I absolutely love. So this is their 100% macadamia oil, and this is a concentrate that's fragrance-free, and it's for hair and body. So you can really use it however you want. Macadamia nut oil, I have learned, is native to Australia, and that is where Mava, the founder of Bread Beauty, is from. So she likes to use ingredients that are um, native to Australia, things like cockadoo plum that are super hydrating that remind her of growing up. She grew up in a hair salon, so she wants to make her brand really nostalgic and really chic. She wanted something really cool and effortless, which I really, really love. I met Mava a few years ago at our Sephora Accelerate program, which is a program that we use to um, sort of celebrate and, and coach female founders and recently have shifted our Sephora Accelerate uh, program to founders of color. So it's a really special program to me. I've met a lot of really cool people and founders there and I always love Bread Beauty Supply. I feel like they're their deep conditioner, the mask is probably like the hit among everybody, but definitely, definitely try out the oil. I feel like everyone needs sort of a wardrobe of oils. And what I really like about it is macadamia oil is really, really lightweight. So I feel like anybody could use this. I have curly hair, so I kind of put oil all throughout. It doesn't really weigh my hair down because it's so coarse. Really, really nice, super lightweight. You can get just kind of see like the sheen, but there's no greasiness at all. So next up is Comet Biologics. So we had Comet Biologics, back in the day, left for a little while and came back. I know people ask that question all the time, so it's back for good now. And this is the Amla in Olive Heavy Cream. Now this was introduced to me a couple years ago. Um, I got it and it was when I was wearing braids and protective styles and I just loved how heavy it was, true to its name. Um, I would put this on my hair, braid my hair up for a week and take it down. My hair would still be moisturized. My hair grew a ton when I was doing this. Um, this is something that I would say is especially for type four hair. The brand sort of dedicates it to type four C hair because it is a thicker, heavier consistency. I still use it. I have a combination of like 3B to 4A hair, kind of have a few hair textures and I still really like it. I don't put it on all over. I usually put it on like my nape and my edges, things like that, where I need a little bit extra moisture. Um, I just think it's really great. If you have type four hair or type four C hair especially, and you've been looking for something that's super hydrating, that's gonna do the job, this is gonna be great. So a little bit goes a long way. So it has castor oil in it. If you ever use castor oil, it's super, super thick. It's a sealing oil, so it doesn't allow any moisture to escape. It also has olive oil, um, which is also really great. That's a moisturizing oil, so you have it on both ends. And then it has amla in it. And I never knew what amla was, but it's an Indian and gooseberry I found after doing an internet search and it's been said to help promote uh, the growth of hair. So it kind of hits you from all points. It's gonna help promote the growth of hair. It's gonna help moisturize. It's gonna seal in that moisture. And I just find it's really great. This is probably the product that I send to my friends and family the most whenever they're looking for a hair product for their kids or for themselves. I'm like, even if you don't have coarser hair, just having a little bit of this is gonna be really great. Again, that's probably the amount that I use because it's so hydrating and it just feels really good. I have been known to kind of put this like on my elbows and stuff too just because it's super super hydrating But it's really really nice if you want it to feel a little bit lighter weight You can put it on the shower on soaking wet hair do notice that it feels a little bit lighter when I do that I really like their Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee, which is a lighter weight formula. That's what I use all over now, and I use this in specialized areas. But I love Comet. They make really great products, and they're super, super hydrating. Okay, so last but not least, something that I've talked about quite a bit, and this is a brand that has become like half of my hair routine lately, and this is Ajo Beauty. And this is the Bale Mint Moisturizing Curl Defining Cream. There's also a gel, and there's also like a leave-in styling lotion, depending on the weight of your styler that you like. I was never really a fan of curl creams. Like I know they work great for some people, but I have really dry, high porosity hair, kind of, you know, is almost like ionically charged to like 
you know, repel. The curls don't really clump together. So gel is usually the thing that I use. Um, but when I talked to Julian, the founder, she's like, you will like the curl cream, I promise. And I do this. Is one of the only curl creams that contain my curls uh, that works when I shingle my hair and I do a wash and go. If you're someone who doesn't like to do a lot of layering, maybe the LCO or LLC method is just too much for you. You wanna do one thing, this is gonna be it. So this has their Bayo Mint complex in it. So Bayo Mint would be Baobab oil and then three different kinds of mint. And that is special to Audra Beauty. So it has a super hydrating uh, Baobab oil. It has a shea butter base. Uh, it has honey in it and has silk amino acids. And silk, just like it, it feels very silky, it's gonna make your hair feel very silky. It helps to sort of smooth out your hair and smooth frizz. And this is just so great. If you do wanna add an oil or add a cream or something like that, you're probably gonna have to like cut them by like 80% because this has all the hydration that you really need. Um, so I really, really like this. Again, this is one of the products that I would send to my friends and family to try because I just feel like it makes your wash and go days so, so simple because it has everything that you need in it. And if you're someone like me, who does not believe in curl creams or thinks that your curls can be defined with a curl cream, this is the one you should try. And the cool thing about Ajwa, what I noticed is a lot of times brands will have um, curl products and they'll say, oh, it works for every hair type, but probably doesn't work for types 4B or 4C hair. With Ajwa Beauty, they formulate their products for 4C hair and they're so lightweight, yet yeah, hydrating somehow. I don't know how they do that with shea butter. They're so lightweight that if you just change the way you use them or the amount that you use, anybody can use them. I've seen people with like type two hair use these and it works perfectly fine. So I think that's a really great point with black owned brands. If you make products that are super hydrating and effective, someone with 4C hair can use them. And if you go backwards, someone with like type two hair can use them. So it has a really great texture. So with Ajwa products, uh, Julian says that it's best to um, apply them uh, when your hair is soaking wet, not a little damp, not like, you know, spraying it a little bit with water, like soaking wet, especially the gel. So I do this in the shower. I have a playlist, I have a shower speaker, everything. I do everything in the shower. It has this really nice consistency. It smells really good and it's super lightweight. And I don't know how she managed to make shea butter feel lightweight, but she did. And I just put it in my hair, my hair is soaking wet. I twirl my, my hair around my finger and I'm good to go. I find that when I use curl cream versus gel, my hair is like a lot fluffier the first day. Sometimes when you use gel, your hair is really flat for like a day and a half. I find when I use curl cream, it has this sort of like cloud-like texture to it and it's really fluffy and really nice. Okay, that was a really great roundup of some exciting newness as well as some of my personal favorites. If you have some favorite black owned hair brands that you really love, some products that you wanna shout out that are your favorite, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. As always, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos and I'll see you next time, bye.